What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys, and welcome to another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video where today we are going to talk about the PS5 upgrade. Gonna dive into that a little bit more, guys. So, if you're new to the channel, want to get all the latest DBZ Kakarot information and stay up to date with everything going on DBZ Kakarot, hit the subscribe button, man. It doesn't cost you anything at all and it helps me to continue doing what I enjoy doing and making these videos. So, we know that the PlayStation 5 version for Dragon Ball Z, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, is coming out on January 13th of this year, okay? They haven't said anything about uh, Steam or Stadia. I mean, it's listed down here. You have PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, that's listed there. It's already out on Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch, and Steam, and I assume Stadia as well, but... As far as the upgrade, it's only listed PS5 and Xbox Series X. So I don't know if they're going to do PC at a later date. But guys, I want to discuss what, what we could see in this. Because I strongly believe that we could see more than just a graphical upgrade. So, you know, first off steam files i've been getting emails about this i mean messages dms i appreciate y'all for sending me the information and stuff like that they are in development for update 1.90 okay um it's just quality assurance all this says is just the branch code it's not telling what it is or anything um but it is in japanese which the other ones you know the the major updates and stuff kind of were i think that uh one point which one was the um 1.70 made way for the Trunks DLC. Um, 1.70 added card warriors. Or added cards to card warriors. All right. 1.60, which is further down, implemented data for Trunks, the Warrior of Hope. And I don't really know what 1.8 did. Maybe added some more cards or something like that. But we know anytime we have a one point number and that last number is a zero, the majority of the time it's something that they're adding to the game. 1.1s and 1.5s are mostly like um, are mostly like, you know, bug fixes and things of that nature. So but we do know, you know, if you were to ask me what this is, I would probably think it's the upgrade version, but it could be the new DLC. But we already know it's coming. So that's kind of irrelevant um as to as to what that could be if you go and look at it here let's go it doesn't it doesn't say anything as far as what they're doing um if we look at the history here just depot you know they just added added all of this stuff you know what i'm saying october 13th uh 2022 that's just a time update okay that was back when they did this four days ago three four days ago it's really four days for them but you, you get what i'm saying um so there's, there's no information in this it's just nice to see them updating it again you get what i'm saying now um and here right here they removed this guys this was the stuff that implemented the trunks dlc so this could be very well the bardock stuff that's basically all all that's saying so season pass two is coming guys we got all the stuff for season pass one i want to discuss this because I just find it very hard to believe that this is all they're going to give us is just some prettier flowers, some clearer, bluer water. Uh, the colors are upgraded. The graphics are upgraded. Now, don't get me wrong. For them to do this, even this stuff on the magnitude, for the magnitude of the game that this is, that does take a lot of work. It does. It really does. Now, one interesting thing is if you go to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, at the title screen, you see stuff that they showed in the trailer. Like the, the blades of grass and stuff flying in the air. You don't see that in the main game, but you see it in the trailer. So I'm wondering if the game is going to look a lot more like the title screen, which is really cool. The title screen look, looks phenomenal. It's hard to, it doesn't really quite look that way in the game, but... You know, the flowers, I don't get why they added that. I, the water, like, to me, here's what I'm saying, guys. This this right here, PS4 stuff, it didn't bother me at all. I would love to have had 60 frames per second. We're going to get that with the next update. But them adding all of the GI stuff in here, I, it, it really didn't, it didn't sway me either way. 
this isn't what people ask for. This isn't. The 60 frames per second, yes. This, no. We can, I think everybody in agreement with me. Let me know in the comment section. Do you even care about this? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice to have. But at the end of the day, do we really care about it? What we want in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is a new game plus. What if that's coming along with this? Because, guys, the way that the game is set up now with the time machine and the game, even with the, the, the Battle of Gods and the Fukasa no F DLCs, it kind of pushed you to start the game over. But there's no reason to start the game over. And I personally, I would, guys, I have, been, I've, I've started so many new playthroughs of Kakarot and just stopped because I don't want to go through the grind all over again. Am I the only one that's like that? I want to play through the stories again so bad because it's so fun. The game does a phenomenal job of leveling you up in a sense and making you feel powerful. Like when you unlock a new transformation, it's extremely noticeable. When you unlock new moves, you feel more powerful. The game does a phenomenal job of that. But when you go back in the time machine and play older missions, even on hard difficulty, it's, it's one shot, you know? I want to play through this story again because it is so fun playing through the entire game, playing through the story and having a challenge fighting these other bosses and things like that. But I don't want to go through the grind of collecting recipes grinding and eating meals collecting z orbs which really isn't a problem finding d metals which eh, really isn't a problem but you get what i'm saying why not give us new game plus with the upgrade why not and is that why they couldn't do it if they do do it that the the ps4 you can't believe me you can't leave me to believe the ps4 couldn't handle a, a new game plus we need a new game plus you want people to continue playing this game Waiting on DLC because all this DLC that's coming out, where's that? Where's that? I'm gonna go over there in a second. We got three more DLCs coming. You expect people to be playing this game throughout this year without any new game plus? You know? And even whenever you replay the missions, like when you go back and, and replay the previous missions, I can replay the beer storyline. No, actually, it doesn't give us an option to. You can replay the Frieza storyline. But what's interesting about that is when you do, it doesn't start you over from zero. You start literally like a new game plus kind of deal. Only deal is the enemies don't upgrade to your level. Why not? History of Trunks, I can start that over right now. I can replay that entire story. But guess what? The enemies aren't going to scale and I can't carry anything over, which is fine. But I want to. I, this History of Trunks isn't a problem to me. That DLC isn't a problem as far as a new game plus kind of deal because it's it's short enough to where you can level up and still enjoy it the main game is is, is what bothers me as far as leveling up and stuff like that i'm sorry i'm losing my places y'all the new game the regular the main game this right here this is what i want a new game plus for because y'all know the grind is real this game guys i hate it because you can't train to get stronger training only unlocks moves you have to eat an enormous amount of food to get stronger. And then you're overpowered. And oh my gosh, like, I don't mind being overpowered. If you put in the work, I feel like they should have done that through training. I've said that many, many times. So new game plus for one, like implement a training mode into the game where we can train and get stronger. Like, you know, and then something everybody's been wanting is clothing customization. The game is over with. I would love to go through and change clothes. I, w I would like to wear Goku Saiyan armor. It, it, I really loved that when it was in the hyperbolic time chamber. You know? So, I I don't know. I just... It, it, it's one of those deals where I look at the price of this DLC. Because this DLC here is only going to be like 20 bucks. It's not going to be $50, $60. Okay? Or to upgrade, it's going to be free. However, I find it hard to believe that they spent this time doing all of this and they're not going to get a profit because the majority of people who have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot guys, we've already got it. The majority of people like I don't even know if Kakarot is still selling copies enough for them to merit a next gen upgrade that they're going to give free to people who already have it on PS4 and Xbox. Where is the money in that? 
So it leads me to believe that they are going to add some things to this PS5 version. Now, there are different versions that will be available. You can get, I think they call it the Legendary Edition, which is going to come with the upgraded graphics, of course. And then it also comes with Season 1 and Season 2. So you get the Season 2 pass as well as the Season 1 pass with, with the Legendary Edition. And then they have the Basic Edition, which is just the game, and I think that's like 20 bucks, you know. And then they have um, another edition that gives you the PS5 upgrade, Xbox Series X upgrade, and Season 1. It gives you the Season 1 DLC stuff. So maybe that's where they're trying to get their money back at is by selling, um, trying to attract new people to the game. They announced a new DLC. Um, you know, they're upgrading it for PS5 and Xbox Series X. And, you know, people may say, hey, like people like me, I would buy it. I would, I would probably get the one that's going to come with the Season Pass 2, even though I don't need Season Pass 1. You know, but at this point in time, they're not even talking to anything else about this. Now, what leads me to believe that there could be more to it than that is because even in the V jump for them to announce a PS5 upgrade in the V jump to me says that they're and they're leading with this. They're already showing you this stuff leads me to believe that there's going to be some things added to the game. For one, what are we going to do with the load times? There's zero load. There's I mean, there probably won't be a load screen for Kakarot when you get to go to a new stage. Because even in PS4, it started out slow and they did a, a patch on it that made it a little bit faster or a lot faster, actually, because it was a little slow. Are we going to be able to use instant transmission? Are we going to get some new moves like that? You know, and you can say, well, instant transmission really isn't important because the load times are so down to zero that, you know, and then what happens when you don't have Goku? Are you going to instant transmission? No. So are they going to open up the world? After you beat the game, the power of the PS5 does make that possible. But the, I, I think the structure and the way that the game is built, you're just not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to be realistic about that. I don't think they're going to have it to where after you beat the game, it's completely open world. But I do believe that uh, they should add. They should add a new game plus. This is going to make the PS5 version miles better. And it's going to give it so much replayability because that's the only thing stopping me from starting a brand new game is I don't want to grind for all those recipes and food items again. I hate that. I don't even know why they put that in the game. I love eating, but I felt I've always said this. I feel like eating should get you stronger. It should raise your health and your key. Everything else should be done in training on the battlefield as far as raising your battle power with your attack and attack defense and stuff like that. Now, also, we got to realize this. With more DLCs comes more so emblems. And to me, I love the Soul Emblem thing, but at this point, I mean, you pretty much got the categories that you really want maxed out, maxed out. I thought, I think it would be really cool if they added a new category. And I've never understood why they didn't let you take these guys off. Like, why did you give them, like, if you go to go to your Soul Emblems, click on Goku. He has stats for other, other, um, other boards, other community boards. But you can't put them on another community board. Does that make sense? Like, why even give him stats for the eating community board if you can't even put Goku Soul Emblem on that community board? It doesn't make sense. And it goes the way for all of these guys. So I never understood the, the thing behind that. It didn't make sense to me. But I don't know. Maybe we'll get some clarification. I, am for one, am just super excited to see what we get with this new uh, upgrade. Like I said, I really hope that we get more than just a graphical upgrade. And frame rate like to me that doesn't merit twenty dollars because I, I could do without that i don't need that 20 frames per second awesome love it that should be free anyway but then like i said the fact that they're giving it to us for free probably says that we may not be getting much of anything but at the same time i will say this the majority of the time that we've gotten a new dlc they've also done uh free updates now they didn't do a free update with the history of trunks but with the first DLC, we got Cards Warriors. And then with the second DLC, um, if I'm not mistaken, or the other free update that we got was um, the the Time Machine. Or we got the Time Machine and Cards Warriors. So we got two free updates, two big updates that added something really big to the game, which the Time Machine was supposed to be in a game to begin with. So that's neither here nor there. But this is, I mean, they have a complete section listed for free updates. The first one, like I said, was Card Warriors on 1028 and then on um on uh 319 in march we got the 
or the first one was on March. We got the time machine first, and then we got Cards Warriors in October of 2020. Gosh, that seems so long ago, man. It's or it seems like yesterday. It was so long ago. It's almost going to be 2023. That's amazing that this game has been out for three years and it's still still fun to play, man. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. What are some things you would like for them to add? And be reasonable, guys. Be realistic. What what are something that could be realistically added? to the ps5 xbox series one version that would make it worth it like i said because me myself and they got to know that some i want i want it i want i want it send me a collector's edition do something i got a collection edition of the first one shoot send me one for the ps5 i want a case i want a case i want a case give me something you know what i'm saying bad night namco holla at your boy but like i said let me know what y'all think what do you think should be added if anything and do you think a new game plus is is would would benefit? How many of y'all would play the game again if you had a new game plus? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.